watch this. Asking uh, Christians to read the Bible. Psalms 137, verse 9. Give me a second to look it up. Someone in the comments asked for Psalm 137.9. This guy is live reading the Bible for his TikTok followers. And this passage says, Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Look at how he reacts. Down to its foundations, daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction. Happy is the one who repays you according to, the, to what you have done to us. Happy is the one who seizes your infants. Okay. Um, you know, that wasn't even funny. Uh, Island. Yeah. Please don't. Um, yeah. That, that's just very disrespectful, you guys. Um, you know, to set me up to, you know, <laughs> the Bible's bad. No, it's not that. You're misinterpreting it. The one who uh, wanted Romans 3, is that a serious request? To, to say that it changed your life, that verse changed your life, the dashing of infants against rocks, that changed your life? Sick one. Yeah. So, it's talking about how. What gets me about this is he says you're misinterpreting it, but it's an exact reading from the Bible. This is kind of like if we ask Clarence Thomas to read the 14th Amendment, which says everyone has a right to privacy after he overturned Roe versus Wade and he was like, hey, you're misinterpreting the Constitution. It's just interesting that even people who use the Bible to make laws and policies, which by the way, should not be a thing. We have the separation of church and state. No one religion should be able to dictate laws or policies, but even those who use the Bible don't actually understand what's in the Bible. Anyway, a lot of what people point to is thou shall not kill, but it's up for interpretation whether or not a collection of cells that cannot live on its own is killing another being. In any case, this is something that's really a private matter, not a determination the government should make, especially because often cases, abortions happen because the fetus isn't viable. It would die. There are conditions where they're skull isn't fully developed. They have half a skull and they will not survive once born. And so a mother, if abortion is illegal, has to make the choice to carry an unviable fetus for nine months only to give birth to it after it sucks energy and nutrients from her body. And then the baby is dead and they have to bury it anyway. When a mother's life is threatened by a pregnancy, thou shall not kill suggests that she should be allowed to have an abortion, right? These are the kinds of things that people who advocate for abortion bans don't really consider. I agree, thou shall not kill. So we shouldn't have an abortion ban.